Hello, this is Bishop Manigal. Welcome to Bishop's Corner. Thank you for stopping by today. I want to share with you a word from the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 14, uh, verses 12 through 14. This is what the word of the Lord says. Is not this what we said to you in Egypt? Leave us alone that we may serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm or stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you and you have only to be silent. Now, as we read the account of the Lord bringing the people out of Egypt, notice a few things. God had literally snatched them from the prison of slavery and oppression and placed them on the road to freedom. Now, they had not arrived at the promised land yet, but they were well on their way there. On their way to freedom, they encountered the Red Sea. The Red Sea at this time was not possible to cross, and now they are panicking. Behind them, they see the Egyptian army bearing down on them. This understandably causes them to lose their focus on what God is doing. You see, fear causes them to say to Moses, didn't we tell you that we really didn't want to be free? Didn't we tell you that your plan was not going to work? Didn't we tell you that we'd rather be slaves in Egypt than to die as free men? These words from them sound quite strange. We really didn't want to be free. Of course, that was not true. You see, when fear causes you to lose your focus, you will say, and even do some very strange things. My brothers and sisters, fear is a terrible way to live one's life. Now, over the last two years, we have seen the utter insanity that fear brings about. Fear of the virus has pitted husband against wife, brother against sister, and even parents against their children. Fear of the virus has caused people to look at others as their enemy, even though that person has done absolutely nothing to them. Fear of the virus has caused many of our leaders to use and abuse their power and indeed their position to such an extent that we no longer trust them. What should be our response to this fear? Our response should be the same as the response Moses gave when confronting their fear. Moses' response to the fearful Israelites was interesting. Rather than chide them, for being afraid, he simply tells them to stand still, hold fast, or pay attention. Continue to hold fast to their trust or their faith in God. Don't let what's in front of you or don't let what's behind you cause you to lose your focus and therefore lose your faith or your trust in the Lord. He told them that the Lord is going to fight for them and that the Lord is going to deliver them. He tells them that they have nothing to be afraid of and they certainly have nothing to be worried about. He says the problem you see right here, the pursuing Egyptian army, you will see that problem no more because God is going to take care of it. If I could pull a page from Moses' book, I want to remind you as well to stand still. Hold fast to your faith in God. The problem you see right here, you will see that problem no more because God is what? Able to and he will take care of it. As to how God was going to deliver them, I'm sure Moses had no clue. And as to how God is going to deliver us, I confess I have no clue. But I do believe, no, I not just believe, but I know that he will. The record shows that just as Moses had said, God brought them across the Red Sea unharmed. He also destroyed the very thing that caused their fear and had caused them to question God's deliverance. So it is my hope and it is my prayer as we close out this year that God will show himself mighty once again. I believe that God will show himself sovereign and destroy the very thing that has caused so many of his people to fear and cause so many of his people to question his deliverance. This is what I know. The same God that loved Israel loves us. Same God who spoke to Moses also speaks to us. 
same God who delivered Israel also delivers us. Same God who fought for Israel will also fight for us. So I want to encourage you wherever you are regarding the tests and the trials of life, stand still, hold fast, and, and see God do what he does best. Stand still and see the deliverance of the Lord. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. Well, my time is up, but I do thank you for yours. Until next time, may God bless you and may heaven smile upon you is my prayer. Amen. Bye-bye.